Hey everyone, I'm Josh. Welcome to Tech Answers. Today's video is going to be a follow-up of my first video where I compared old graphics drivers to new ones to see how much more in, in performance you can get over time. God, I need to stop saying that. Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Answers. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at, uh, crap, I did it again. Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Answers. Today episode, today... Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Answers. Today is going to be a, f today's video is going to... Hey everyone, Josh here with Tech Answers. Today's video is going to be a follow-up of my first video where I compare graphics drivers from when cars were first released to... The camera just moved. Hey everyone, Josh here with Tech Answers. Today's video is going to be a follow-up of my first video comparing graphics drivers when graphics cards first came out to now. So uh, today we're going to be using the 290X, the 780 Ti, the 7970, which I unfortunately already sold, sorry, I have no B-roll of it, just a shitty photo, and the uh, GTX 680. So let's take a look at the results and see what I came up with. The system that I will be using in today's test has an i5-6600K overclocked to 4.3 GHz, an ASUS Sabertooth Z170S motherboard, Crucial Ballistic Sport DDR4-2400 uh, 16 GB, uh, silicon power S5520 gig SSD, uh, EVGA Supernova 750 watt G2 power supply, and a really, really, really old Corsair H80. Don't judge, it works. Starting with the GTX 680 and Firestrike with its original release driver, it scored 5924, and with driver 372.90, it scored 7732. The HD 7970 with its release driver produced a score of 6,103 and with driver 16.9.2 a score of 8,716. The 780 Ti with its release driver of 331.65 had a score of 12,100 and the latest driver of 372.90 got a score of 12,253. And last but not least, the R9290X with its release driver of 13.12 got a score of 11,444 and ended at driver 16.9.2 with 12,502. A little ahead of the uh, 780 Ti there in the end, but can be chalked up to margin of error. Bioshock Infinite has always been one of those good-looking games that really wasn't too hard to run. So the 680 with its original driver was able to do 52.52 uh, with its uh, latest release driver was able to do 83.24. The 7970 in score, scored better but didn't have as impressive gains in uh, Infinite with a uh, First driver producing 64.96, and the uh, latest driver producing 89.77. The 780 Ti was a massive improvement over the previous generation, pulling out 121 FPS on average for its first driver, and then a, only 130 with its uh, uh, latest driver, but, I mean, you're already high enough there, so I guess it doesn't matter. And the 290X pulled out a 134.72 with its original driver, and then 150.37 uh, with its latest. For Crisis 3, I split it up into two tests, uh, an in and an out. My inside test is actually the same that uh, they do over at Linus Tech Tips, and for an explanation for that, I'll link a, a video down below. But uh, in that test, the uh, 680, the uh, 680 with its original driver did 51.32, and with its latest got 54.69. For the 7970, it got 45.09 and 49.39. Not seeing a lot of big gains here. The 780 Ti was able to get 77.39 with its original driver and 82.98 with its latest. The 290X, however, did 70.37 with 72.22. Not seeing a lot of big differences here between the, uh, the different drivers. The sequence of the game I used to do the outside test is where you have to push the train car and you go f hurtling down through the, uh, uh, the tunnels underground eventually to where you have to blow up the train car. But uh, um, the uh, 680 was able to do uh, 50.69 in that section with its original driver. The, uh, uh, the latest driver, it was able to do 55.21. The 
the 7970 started off with a 44.72 and ended with a 51.09. The 780 Ti started with a 79.72 and ended with an 84.69. The uh, 290X's average for its original driver was 68.12, and its latest driver was 75.15. I keep saying latest driver, but this was the latest driver I used. It was the one I started with. Uh, I don't really think that these cards are going to get any better with the absolute latest driver, but I really did not want to have to do these tests all over again. In Metro Last Light, the GTX 680 was able to do 60 FPS with its original driver and 68.19 with its second. The 7970 was able to do 53.56 with its original and 75.11 with its uh, latest. The 780 Ti did not see much improvement uh, going from 100.08 to 101.24. The 290X saw improvement, but not a lot, going from 92.43 to 100.34. Now on to the two most visually pleasing games in the lineup. We have uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, where the 680 was able to pull out a 48.34 for its uh, original driver, a 52.25 for its latest, the 7970 did a 54.54 with its original driver and a 59.88 with its latest. The 780 Ti did a 81.46 with its first and a 85.75 with its uh, latest. And the 290X did a 74.65 with its first and a 78.20 with its latest driver. Considering when this game was uh, released and how demanding it can be, I thought all these cards performed very, very well for their age. And now on to Doom. I do have to explain one quick thing about Doom. I had to use the drivers that were originally released with the game. Uh, I did not like to run on older drivers, so the driver used for NVIDIA is 365.19, and for AMD it's 16.5.2. And uh, the 680 with its original driver did 53, and for its latest driver, excuse me, at the time of this test was 372.90, which netted me 50.69. Now, supposedly the current driver, I believe it's 375 point something, not 100% sure, at, was actually able to get those gains back. The uh, 7970 did awful at 35.55 average on the uh, first test with the original driver and 16.92 brought it right back up to 63.8 the 780 ti did 75.28 with uh, the uh, game release driver and with the latest driver did 78.16 again i'm pretty sure nvidia is doing better now with doom so this test it shows gains but it's not necessarily truly representative to what they are now uh, the 290x started at 50.98 again not very good. And then with the latest driver of 16.9.2, a 79.11. Moving to the outside test of Doom, which is pretty much from the elevator to the first loading point, the uh, 680 was able to get a 59.99, 60 FPS for rounding purposes, on its original driver, and a 55.1 on the uh, with the newer driver, again, don't think that's very accurate. 16.5.2 uh, for the 7970 gave it 52.51, and 16.9.2 gave it 81.37. The 780 Ti did 97.73 on the original driver, and then 104.42 on the latest, and the 290X did 76.17, and the uh, the newest driver, it, it mustered a 110.27. One more note before we go, folks. Just want to let everybody know, all of this was done on a Windows 7 uh, operating system. Since a lot of these older drivers are only available on Windows 7 now, I didn't want to throw in Windows 10 and kind of throw a monkey wrench into anything. But uh, that's it for today. So if you liked the video, give me a like. Uh, leave a comment if you want to see anything done with any of the hardware that you see that I have. Um, but yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.